Hey there guys, so today we're going to be cleaning up our menu system. Um, so let's open that up. Nope, wrong one. What am I doing? Pokedex. I'm going to need this and Pokedex TSN. So let us do this. Uh, first thing I think we want to do is we want to swap this out for a at uh, nine frame, patch nine frame, nine frame, yeah, patch nine frame. Got the name for a second. Uh, let's open up our dialog box so we can have a look at what the specifications of it should be. So let's set the icon to be sprites. This one. Uh, what's the bounds? Seventeen five seventeen five seventeen five seventeen five. Okay, then we should be able to stretch that out. Uh add the label back. Rename this to Pokedex item over this move out the label right good this that looks better doesn't it our label didn't seem to write but that's probably because the text is white right um, there we go. Um, <clears throat> hmm. We want it to be centered. So let's do that. Line, center, line, center. Right. There we go. That looks better. Next up, we can set the font to that other one. No, nope, that one. And run that. Have a look. That's nice. Uh, then we want to do some messing around with the script. Uh, we probably want to install a background for this but we'll get around to that i don't actually have anything prepared for the background um we don't need this we need the pokedex so when we're rendering each one of these now um so we need to fix the bounds so we need to have it so there's a gap between them so um We can go node dot get underscore node, right? And get po pokedex item, and this will be our frame. And we want to get the oh, size of that, which is stored in. Uh, size dot y which is 42 so we can just hard code 42 in actually so set the position to um 42 plus no we're going to change this to 42 plus 10 42 plus 10 run that there we go, that's a nice distance between each of them. Stop moving the Y actually. Oops, nope. What am I talking about? Stop moving the X actually. Right. There we go. 
Um, then we need to scroll between them. So if we set fixed process to true uh, and func fix, just no. Let's let's go with normal process. Uh, we don't need fixed process here. Oh, I've been coding too much C. Uh, func process data. So we want to go with much the sim. We basically want to recreate this, except we don't know the size of the thing. So then. Uh, also, we're not going to be moving an arrow. We're moving the entire thing. Um... And we are adding it to Pokedex holder. So when we're moving the entire thing, we're just going to be moving Pokedex holder. Okay. Um, and that will move all of them up. So for example, if input dot is action pressed UI up, then we can just go node. No, Pokedex holder dot set pause to get Pokedex holder dot get pause plus vector two zero ten. Right. Oh. Yeah. Run this. Oh. Pokedex holder. Oh, because it's not global. Oops. There we go. Did we set the good Pokedex? Pause mode process. Oops. There we go. <laughs> uh, obviously, we'll want it to be much the similar input method to how we previously did it in the menu. So if we just copy this and handle key input. Oops. Wrong one. Pokedex. Funk, uh, unhandled key input. Oh, we want down as well, don't we? We don't need um, interact or we will probably need menu to close this. So, Pokedex. Move all this back, an indentation. Then we need to declare these. Okay. Uh, lesson false. And what am I doing? I've been reviewing way too much C++. Um... Next up, we're just going to set all those to false after each process. So up equals false, down equals false, menu equals false. Uh, if menu, uh, we'll move this by 42 plus 10, right? Oh no, not menu. If up or down. Else, L if, L if, right, L if up, I'll change this to a minus, uh, 
I could just hard code this as 52, but. There we go. That the indentation, remove this random hash here. Right, there we go. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. What's up? The answer is unhandled key input. So set unhandled key input true. And run that now. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Snake. <laughs> okay, uh, next up we will be Let's just add the menu. If menu, then we will uh, get the menu node and set it to true. Right? So where's the menu node? Camera. Okay. So we have to get that. Um. Get node play no root slash world slash player slash camera two D slash menu dot um menu equals true no is op open open is the variable uh, open equals true open equals true I think and then q dot underscore free to free this note have a go, shall we? Ah, we did it. It works. No errors as well. That's pretty sick. Pretty cool. Uh, this should be a background. So, um, something I like to do is head into paint. Net. Although you could do it in MS Paint. Um, it, it's not big and there's probably a better way to do this in Godot. I haven't researched it. Just get a, a small tile of white. Drop that file. Save as. Um, desktop. Projects. For a Pokemon clone. Project right save this is test.png. Uh, then we can use this as like a stand in for sprites, and this is a really nice stand in because we can add a mod, we can modulate it to a nice color, right? Um, oh. So if we then just resize this. And run this. Way too small. Oh, we can see the camera. So there. Run this. And there you go. And this is where the menu and stuff would be. So yeah, this I'm I'm happy with this system so far. Um we'll have to do some decorating for it. Um also we'll be having we can well we could probably set up that now uh basically what else we need to do is have a variable which is current item equals zero and this will be the current item in our and um, our list so current item plus equals one or yeah current item plus equals one 
I guess that this measures where we are in our list so we can just access it. We're also going to have to have this loop. So if current item um, is greater than uh, the length of the list, which will be greater than or equal to because the list length uh, starts counting from one as opposed to zero. Um, so singleton dot Pokemon dot Pokemon dot length is that right is that right guys nice. uh then we will current item equals um an item is equal to zero, right? Yeah. And then current item minus equals zero. If current item is less than zero, then we will set current item to um singleton dot Pokemon dot size minus one because computers okay uh we'll fix rendering next time um i mean we'll have it loop actually i don't think it does loop though so we don't necessarily have to have it loop we can just have it stop i don't know what do you think uh we need to clean this up we can have it render sprites or whatever here probably center this up as well um, right. Okay. I shall see. Yeah.